Now, if you're looking for an easy way to customize your WooCommerce single product template, but you don't have the budget to buy Elementor Pro, then this free shop engine plugin could be the perfect solution for you. It does lack some of the more advanced features of Elementor Pro, but if all you need is to create a custom product template, then this video will show you how to use Shop Engine and do exactly that. Okay, so let's start building our custom single product template with Shop Engine and Elementor Free. To get started, go ahead, install the Shop Engine plugin and activate it. I've already gone ahead and done that, so I'm ready to go. Once activated, head over into the new entry inside your dashboard for Shop Engine. First thing we're going to do is just go into the widget section to enable or disable anything we do or don't need. So this is where we can see all of the different widgets that will be available to us inside Elementor. As you can see by default, everything is enabled. But if you find there are certain features inside here you don't need and you want to reduce the amount of resources that are going to be used, the amount of files that are going to be loaded in, disable anything that you don't need. Once you've done that, simply hit the save changes option and we're ready to go. Next, we're going to head into templates, and this is where we're going to create our new single post template. To do that, all we need to do is come up to add new, and inside there, we're going to give this a name. We're going to call this default single product template. Now, if you were used to working with Elementor Pro and working with templates inside there, you're going to find there's one thing that's missing inside this free version of Shop Engine, and that's the ability to set up conditions for when you may want to use any given template. This is just going to display the template globally. So all of our products are going to use this same template. Once you've named your template, we can choose the type of template we're going to create. Single is perfect for this example, but if you wanted to use any of the other options, you can see we have those available. We're going to make sure that single is selected and we're going to say to set this as default. Once you've done that, we can come down and hit save changes. Now come over and choose the option to edit with Elementor. And now if we look on the left hand side inside the Elementor editor, you can see all of the new widgets that have been added into our panel. For our example today, we're going to stick to the Shop Engine single product set of options. And as you can see, there are quite a lot of options inside here. So if you're coming from something like Elementor Pro, a lot of these are going to be very familiar. So now we can go ahead and start to build out our single template. So let's start off by adding the image on the left hand side, some information on the right hand side, and then we can see how we can start to build things up. Now, this isn't a lesson in design. This is just to show you how everything works. You can let your imagination run riot and create all manner of great looking single product templates. So let's go ahead and start our design off by adding in a new container. We're going to choose the option for two columns to start off with. We'll add a little bit of space above and a little space below. So now we can come back to our widgets and we can start to pull in all the different things that we want to make up our customized page. So the first thing we're going to start off with is inserting the images that we want to use. To do that, we just simply drag in the product images widget, drop that inside there, and you can see that now pulls in an individual product. Now, once you've gone ahead and added your first widget in, you can see we now have options on the left-hand side for how we can customize various different aspects. To start off with, you can see we have the product light box icon, which we can change if we want to. As you can see, this is in the top right-hand corner. I'll leave that as it is. You can also set to show or hide the badge, and that's the things like on sale, discounts, those kinds of things. So if you don't want to do that or you don't include those, you could disable it if you wanted to. That's pretty much all we have for the settings. However, we can come into style, and inside there we now have more options, including things like border radiuses. We can also go ahead, gallery thumbnails, border radius, border type, the lightbox zoom icon, and the flash badge stale sale. So we can say we want to change this to something that might be a bit more in keeping with our branding. You can see we can also use our global colors if we have those set up or the new color sampler that's part of Elemental. We're gonna keep this really simple and just choose this orange color so it stands out just a little bit better. And if you want to, you can adjust the position of this. You can adjust the radius, the border radius, those kinds of things. There's lots of options. We might wanna sort of flip the sides over. We can do things like that. All those options are inside there for us. So that's the first widget inserted. Let's go back to our list of widgets and let's just go ahead and pull in the title for this particular product. So we'll grab the product title widget, drag and drop that to the right hand column and you can see that now pulls that in for us. So now we can go ahead and start styling and configuring this. So we wouldn't want to use a H1, a H2 would probably be better in this instance, but you can control the alignment, the colors, the typography. Under advanced, we just got the normal option. So it's a pretty basic widget in this example. Let's come back in and let's just say we want to pull in the product excerpt. 
drag and drop that into the right hand side as well and again that will pull in the information and we have the same styling options available inside there next up we'll go ahead and drop in the price for this particular product so grab that drop that underneath the title and that will pull that information in and you can see it pulls in the normal price and also the sale price and you have full control over all of this information including the sale price color any spacing typography alignment those kinds of things so now you can just go ahead and start adding all the different key components you want into your design so i'm not going to worry too much about adding anything else on there except for the buy button because without that we can't really purchase anything so let's grab the add to cart option drop that underneath there and that will insert that into our design and again we can now go ahead and configure anything we want including button style as you can see we can set various different aspects of this up we can set the position of the quantity the icons are going to be used lots of really useful information inside you including things like variation descriptions enable ordering quantity position those kinds of things heading over into style you can see we can now can configure any of the options inside there everything is broken down into very simple logical options including the ability to style variations so if you are working with variable products you can see we have information inside you to configure that one thing to note though they can't spell variations there's an extra i in both variation and variation swatches now variation swatches and wish list you might be considering well why are they inside you alongside the compare option but well, part of what you have with shop engine is the ability to add these extra features in for variation swatches variations wish lists and compare options so we'll cover those in another video a little later down the line but if you're wondering where these four options come from they are those options that are part of the shop engine plugin if you disable those options then you'll probably find that these will disappear inside the actual panel here for your widget so before we take a look at some of the other options let's just quickly go ahead and change the add to cart button color just so you can see how this all works we'll choose the custom color you can see all my colors are saved inside there we'll choose this green color for this example and you can see that picks the color up and everything changes accordingly so you can access all the normal inbuilt features inside elemental free so you can harness all those global style settings and so on pretty cool to see so as we know there's tons of options inside you for this configuration side of things but what else do we have well let's take a look at what we put underneath this section so let's go back to our list of widgets and we can see we can pull things like our product description in so let's just say we want to pull that drop that underneath there you can see that will now pull in the description so that's just the description a plain simple description however you don't have to limit yourself to that you can if you want to use some of the other options things like the product tabs let's pull that inside here and you'll see this will pull in the normal tablet which gives us things like description reviews and so on so you can build this up in any way that you want to then you can go ahead and style this to make sure that everything is totally in keeping with your design so for example with this description being this purple color we can easily change that so we can come in just pull up our global colors set that to be the green color and do the same for the nav indicator set that to our global colors you can see as simple as that if you want to change the typography change that to something like our secondary for example and that will pick up the styling so it's really really quick and easy to start building these pages up and make them look any way you want so for example you might not want to put this inside here you might want to put this over on the right hand side well you can simply just grab the widget drag that into position and you can see that will now pull in the description and the reviews and we could if we wanted to then just simply get rid of this option and we've created a different more streamlined setup with our reviews and our descriptions inside you so it's quick and easy to work with now let's just say underneath you wanted to put in things like related products or upsells and things like that well again shop engine has you covered if you want to you can simply come in grab the related products drop that under there and now that will drop in the related products by default it will create a slider which is a nice way of pulling in more products but you don't have to use a slider you can disable the slider option and you can then go ahead and customize how you want this to look so you might say you only want to show three products in three columns and again you can also come in and set this up to work on desktop tablet and mobile so you can make sure that everything is configured to look the way that you want to be perfect on all those devices into advanced you can see we can sort the order so we've got random popularity rating those kinds of things so nice to see you can pull in and you can sort those out the way that you want and then whether you want to set them ascending or descending some nice options inside there again we have to remember this is a free plugin i'm sure the pro version when that's released will include a lot more options for how we display this but for the fact this is free there's a ton of really useful features that means that you could get away with using this for most simple shop examples with elemental free and you have fully customizable shops pretty cool 
Again, hop into the style section and we can now configure everything inside here. So for example, the add to cart, we want to change the background color on there. Well, we can come up to the custom color, set the save color, and we now have the same kind of style as we have for our main button. We can set the alignment on there, set the global fonts inside here, which basically means that any of the fonts inside this specific widget, not the entire layer, not all the widgets inside Shop Engine, just this specific widget, can be set to whatever you kind of want. So we set that to, for example, Times New Roman. You see it changes the button, it changes the title, the price, and anything else that might be displayed. We'll set that back to default for now, though. So now once we've gone ahead and configured everything the way that we want, we can simply hit Update on here, and this is our new layout for our single template for all our products has been created. Now, obviously, when you're working with creating any kind of website, you want to make sure that it looks great across all devices. To do that, we can switch into responsive mode inside Elemental, and we can now take a look to make sure that everything looks the way that we want. So this is how everything is going to look on the mobile version. And if we want to make changes on there, for example, the title size, we can change that on there. So we can come into our sizing, and we can say, let's just set that to something like 24, for example, and we'll reduce the weight on there a little bit. We'll change the font. So you can see we can update all those values. And if we want to make changes to any of the items underneath, we can do that inside there as well. So for example, we might want to change the actual related products, and we can do that. You can see we can come in and adjust the text alignment. So I say we want this to be centered. You can see we've got all the different options inside there. So you can configure this however you want. If you want to make changes on the tablet, you can see we can switch over tablet view, and we can adjust things on there to make sure everything looks great as well. So let's say, for example, when we come into the buttons, they're looking a little bit on the big side. We might want to make changes to those. We can do that. So you can do things like the Add to Cart button. We can adjust the sizing on there. So your padding, for example, we could say we want to reduce that down. We'll say something like five. We'll set that globally to be five. And you can see now that reduces the size of the button. And you've also got the things like the quantity, stock status. All those things can be adjusted inside here as well. Finally, let's hit update one more time. And once that's completed, we can preview this to see what it looks like. And there we go. There's our new template all created. Looking pretty sweet. Everything we wanted is included inside there and looks pretty good. Now, if you want to go ahead and make more changes, you could obviously go back and customize this to your heart's content. So if you're ready to learn more about customizing WooCommerce using Shop Engine and Elemental Free, then watch this video next. Now, if you found this video useful, I'd love it if you give that thumbs up button a click. It really does help me out. If you didn't get value from the video though, well, feel free to slap the thumbs down button twice, as that seems to work pretty well too. My name is Paul C. All applicable links are in the description below. This is WP Tuts, and until next time, take care.